Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is gonna be my new Superman Man of Steel 2 movie video. There was a recent interview with a bunch of DC people and James Gunn talking about other DC movies where they revealed some surprising details about what's going on with the next Superman solo movie behind the scenes. So we'll break it all down. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We'll do an Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know what you want them to do with the next Superman solo movie. But just starting with the big stuff first, number five, recently Warner Brothers and DC did a big preview of the Suicide Squad movie that's coming out next year. And during that interview, they revealed that the new regime that's now in charge of all Warner Brothers and DC movies really wants to make a new Superman movie. Despite what you may have heard, they actually do want to do something like that. There were a lot of rumors earlier this year about what was going on with Henry Cavill and Zack Snyder after the Justice League Snyder Cut trailer was released and they made all the announcements about the future of that movie. That's all still ongoing right now. He just posted a picture of them starting the reshoots or additional photography, whatever you want to call what they're doing with the Snyder Cut. Because now the movie is sort of ballooned into a very Injustice version of a Justice League movie. I'll address that in a second after the Man of Steel 2 movie stuff. But one of the first things that James Gunn revealed in his interview was that when he had his first general meeting with Warner Brothers a couple years ago about working on a DC movie, the studio actually tried to get him to do a Superman movie first before he came back with his own request. And obviously that wound up being the Suicide Squad movie. He also said some funny things about Kevin Feige when he had to tell the Marvel people that he was doing a DC movie. Apparently Kevin Feige is also a bit of a Superman stan. He literally said the day after he got hired to do the Suicide Squad movie, Disney called him and hired him back or wanted to hire him back to do Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So he had to call Kevin Feige and explain the situation to him. And before he could explain which DC movie he was doing, Kevin Feige stopped him short and said, are you doing Superman? Are you doing a new Superman movie? Please tell me. Not because Kevin Feige was upset, just because he was so excited at the thought that James Gunn might be doing a Superman movie because Kevin Feige actually got his start in Hollywood working for Richard Donner and his wife Lauren Shula Donner. So even though you don't hear him talk about it a lot, apparently he is a huge Superman stan. But number four, quick history lesson just to explain the history of the Man of Steel 2 Superman movie, James Gunn and Zack Snyder's personal histories at the studio, because it's all connected. In fact, James Gunn and Zack Snyder go way back. They have history together. If you didn't know, they're total bros. They actually worked on a movie together a long time ago. Remember Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead remake movie? That was his first real big movie that he did that was written by James Gunn. So they've been friends in real life for a long time now. Eventually, Zack Snyder was hired to do the Superman Man of Steel movie with Henry Cavill. Christopher Nolan was kind of on his way out of DC, so DC wanted to work up to a big shared universe of Justice League characters. Eventually, they signed Zack Snyder on to do the future Justice League movies. But originally, what he was going to do after the first Superman movie was he was going to do Man of Steel 2. But the studio wanted to get to their Justice League movie so fast that they decided to turn Man of Steel 2 into Batman v Superman. So had things gone to their original plans, he would have just done Man of Steel 2 right after doing the first Man of Steel movie. This will be important in a second, but obviously you know what happened after that. He made Batman v Superman, then they signed him on for three Justice League movies. Remember, originally they planned to do three of them as a trilogy. Then you all know what happened after Batman v Superman came out. By that time, Zack Snyder had already started shooting with Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, the rest of the Justice League actors on the movie. Critics freaked out about Batman v Superman. The studio panicked. And that was back in 2016 when you started hearing about all the changes behind the scenes on the set of the Justice League movie. They dropped it down to two Justice League movies. Then eventually Joss Whedon came on. And here we are today, cut to a couple years later, and Zack Snyder's coming back to finish his original vision of the Snyder Cut. Although technically it's actually morphing into a much bigger movie. But had things gone to their original plans, after they had done Justice League 2, Zack Snyder would have just come back and done Man of Steel 2 with Henry Cavill eventually. They were always going to do another Superman solo movie, but they just had all these Justice League plans before that would happen. Number three, James Gunn said that he was pitched the Man of Steel 2 movie or a new Superman movie, whatever you want to call it, back in summer of 2018 when he was first meeting with the Warner Brothers people. He'd been fired by Disney and Marvel from the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 movie. They announced that during the summer of 2018. Within about a month of that, he was having general meetings with Warner Brothers and DC about doing a new DC movie. 
It was during those early meetings that James Gunn said the studio started talking to him about doing the new Superman movie. He said that the reason why he said no to that and instead chose to do the Suicide Squad movie is just because he preferred working with characters like the Guardians of the Galaxy characters, basically misfits, DC-list characters. So he basically wound up doing a Guardians of the Galaxy style movie with DC characters, even though technically the Suicide Squad movie doesn't take place in outer space. Technically. Recently, they've also talked about the villain of the new Suicide Squad movie. Most of us theorize that it's actually Starro, a space-based character, because if you rewatch all that Suicide Squad trailer footage from DC fandom, you can actually see purple Starro-looking prosthetics covering some of the cast faces. But the takeaway here is that clearly, if the studio is trying to get him to do a new Superman movie, it's a priority for them, and it seems like the real reason why they haven't hired another director and announced Man of Steel 2 is because they're just waiting for the right one to come along. Number two, here's where we get to the recent Zack Snyder rumors about his potential future with DC projects beyond the Justice League Snyder Cut. Everyone wondering if Zack Snyder's gonna do more DC projects after the Snyder Cut next year. The past year or so, he's really only been talking about the Snyder Cut. They're in the middle of additional photography. There's still a ton of work to be done on that. He's mostly just focused on that right now. It's gonna be over four hours long. They're releasing it on HBO Max in four separate episodes sometime between next spring and summer. It's gonna be huge. Based on all the recent trailers, announcements, and plot teasers from behind the scenes, it does kind of seem like it's almost turning into an Injustice movie just a little bit. But the most recent rumors are that Warner Brothers is actually just waiting to see how the Snyder Cut performs and what the fan critical reaction winds up being, but there's a strong possibility that they're using the whole thing, the whole endeavor, to keep Zack Snyder around at DC for potential future projects. The people that were running the studio when he left the Justice League movie a couple years ago have all been fired and replaced with a totally new regime, so it's one of those situations where they might be trying to bring him back if everyone is digging what he's doing with the Snyder Cut. So even though I would have never expected this a couple years ago, we could totally wind up with a situation where Zack Snyder himself comes back to do Man of Steel 2 with Henry Cavill in a couple more years. And if you want a theory craft, remember what was happening a couple months ago when he announced the Justice League Snyder Cut? It was during a rewatch commentary stream of the Man of Steel movie where he brought Henry Cavill, Superman, onto the stream to help announce the Snyder Cut. It's not a confirmation or anything, but it almost seems like too much of a coincidence. In number one, just speaking about Henry Cavill, Superman, and other DC movies, he's spoken more recently in the last couple of months about all the cameo rumors in Shazam 2, the Black Adam movie, potential other future DC movies. But most of what he said is just standard boilerplate because he's pretty official when it comes to interviews. Yes, I'm talking with the studio. No, most of these rumors aren't totally correct, but he wouldn't elaborate on what he and the DC people are actually talking about. But you go back and you watch The Rock himself in that DC fandom trailer for the Black Adam movie, clearly hyping up Superman versus Black Adam in a future movie, if not the Black Adam movie itself. So if that's going to wind up happening, then some of the other rumors about the cameos and other DC movies are also probably a little bit true. You know, I always thought that it might be cool to hang out with Superman. And that would be cool, right? I mean, we're kind of similar in terms of our powers, our strengths, our speeds. Because look, at the end of the day, you never know. Black Adam and Superman could become friends. Or they won't. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. But before I go, I want you guys to help me out with something. Let's let Flash, Shazam, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman, let's let them know something. Things will never be the same because the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. The big takeaway though is that yes, he's totally coming back as Superman in new movies eventually. It just seems like they're taking things on a movie by movie basis and just seeing how things perform before they fully commit to a new Superman movie. But everyone post all your theories in the comments below. Do you actually want to see Zack Snyder come back to do Man of Steel 2 himself in a couple years with Henry Cavill? What's going to happen next though is I have a new Thor 4 Love and Thunder video to post tonight and then Friday I'm going to be posting my Mandalorian Season 2 Episode 1 video. That's right, The Mandalorian is back. I'll be doing weekly episode videos so make sure you enable alerts so you don't miss any of those episodes. But while you wait for everything, everyone click here to rewatch the Justice League Snyder Cut trailer a billion more times and click here for that brand new Green Lantern HBO announcement video. 
Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.